In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. My dear brother and sister, fraternal greetings to you from the Carmelite Fathers. and warm welcome to carmen light reflection on the day's readings it's the 17th of august saturday of the 19th week in ordinary time today we remember blessed angelus agustin makanzi we pay attention to the gospel text of the day a reading from the holy gospel according to matthew chapter 19 verses 13 to 15 at that time children were brought to jesus that he might lay his hands on them and pray the disciples rebuked the people but jesus said let the little children come to me and do not hinder them for to such belongs the kingdom of heaven and he laid his hands on them and went away the gospel of the lord praise to you lord jesus christ in jesus day as in our own some people were valued far more than others religious leaders and people from wealthy families were highly respected far lower down came laborers like fishermen lower still women of any class and at the very bottom children so it's not surprising the jesus disciples shooed away the children who tried to approach him but jesus would have none of this he valued the children and made it clear to the disciples that the kingdom of heaven belonged to such as these today children may be more highly valued but there are two glaring exceptions children who have yet to be born and children with disabilities they belong in the same low status as people near the end of their lives people suffering with dementia people regarded as foreigners and people who lack homes skills or resources this devaluing goes right against the way of jesus he values every individual he created he treasures them and always has time for them sometimes he even uses the lowly to instruct their betters he did this during his ministry when he touched lepers broke bread with prostitutes and spoke tenderly to a woman accused of infidelity jesus did not stop showing care for the needy when he ascended into heaven he continues to do it every day through his people through missionaries to poor nations through religious brothers and sisters who live among the poor and through every person 
who ventures into a nursing home or inside prison walls through all these ways and more he continues to shower his love on the poor and the outcast what do your gestures reveal are you more like the welcoming jesus or more like the class conscious disciples the next time you encounter a person who is different than you don't just pass him or her by say hello take time to learn that person's name look that person in the eye and wait patiently to allow him to tell his story who knows perhaps there is a way you can lend a hand jesus treasures each person as he let the children come near to him you can let people come close to you jesus show me how highly you value the least of these teach me so that my words and actions toward them mirror yours amen psalm 51 is often heard especially when the theme is penitential God is not interested in all sorts of rituals and sacrifices. God desires a loving relationship with individuals. Those who realize their individual sinfulness and seek God with a humbled, contrite heart will have a closer relationship with God. Let's pray that psalm now. Your response create a pure heart for me o god create a pure heart for me o god create a pure heart for me o god renew a steadfast spirit within me do not cast me away from your presence take not your holy spirit from me create a pure heart for me o god Restore in me the joy of your salvation sustain in me a willing spirit i will teach transgressors your ways that sinners may return to you create a pure heart for me o god for in sacrifice you take no delight burnt offering from me would not please you my sacrifice to god a broken spirit a broken and humbled heart o god you will not spurn create a pure heart for me o god glory be to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end amen novena prayer to our lady of mount carmel in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen holy mother of god we greet you as queen and mother of carmel you were raised from being a lowly handmaid to the great dignity of the mother of the word incarnate we dedicate ourselves as an act of filial homage we glorify the holy trinity by honoring you and in our many needs we have recourse to your protection and your powerful intercession jesus your son was so obedient to you on earth will certainly grant your petitions on our behalf with this trust and unbounded confidence we beseech you to hear our prayers and obtain for us of your divine son the favors we request in this novena Having experienced the efficacy of your prayers we are full of confidence that you will gain for us this favor 
if it is for the glory of God and for our good. Amen. Let us pray for our petitions. Remember, O most gracious Virgin Mary, that never was it known that anyone who fled to thy protection, implored thy help, and sought thine intercession was left unaided. Inspired with this confidence, I fly unto thee, O Virgin of virgins, my mother. To thee I come, before thee I stand, sinful and sorrowful. O Mother of the Word incarnate, despise not my petitions, but in thy mercy, hear and answer me. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. Jesus, Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Our Lady of Mount Carmel, pray for us. Thanksgiving Prayer Holy Mother of God and Queen of Carmel, we, your children, come before you in a spirit of filial devotion and gratitude. As Mother of our spiritual life, you have obtained for us innumerable graces and blessings from our Heavenly Father, who has given to us through you the greatest of all treasures, Christ our Lord. We recognize with deep sentiments of thankfulness all the spiritual favors that have come to us through your powerful intercession. In particular, we thank you for your special protection over those who wear your holy scapula with faith and love. And finally, we thank you for answering our prayers in our personal needs. We implore from you the great grace of final perseverance that we remain faithful to the end to your Son our Lord Jesus Christ, who is Lord forever and ever. Amen. Let's pray for God's blessing. May the Lord Jesus be with you to defend you. May he be with you to sustain you. May he go before you to show you the way. May he follow you to guard you. From above, may he bless you with the Father and the Holy Spirit who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Brothers and sisters, we remember today all those who are celebrating their birthdays, especially Brother Emil Samla, Sister Helen D'Souza, FSM, Cecilia D'Souza, Secular Carmel from Bindur, Mangalore. Servo Fernandez from Kolwale, Goa. Larissa Correa from Nidodi, presently in Abu Dhabi. Josie Pinto from Umzur, Farangipete. Philip Pace from Vidyaranyapura, Bengaluru. Travan D'Souza from Udupi. Wish you all a happy birthday. God bless you. 
and we pray for the departed soul of Veena Pace from Bikarnakatte, Mangalore. May the Lord grant her eternal rest. That's all for today, my dear friends. Have a great day. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.